Hey guys, Lily here. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. So yeah, yesterday we went and we picked up two huge pallets and um, he's taking them apart right now and he's gonna make me a desk. I had told him a while back that I wanted like a little desk, but for him to make it, you know, something simple. I don't know how it's gonna look or how it's gonna come out, but I wanted to share it with you guys, uh, share the process with you guys. And so let's go see what hubby's doing. He's taking them apart. See how I told you guys that they're huge pallets. We just needed two. There's that one and then the one on the back of the truck. That's how far he's come on the first pallet. It's hard, hard, hard work. Hubby's asking me if he should leave it this size or do I want one more plank of wood added on there. I like it like this, not so wide, but no, one more would be better. I think so. He's going to add one more. Yeah, like that. One more? No, no, no. Just like that. I don't want one more. Like, that's fine. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So this is the size it's going to be. And he says he's going to take out those two middle ones so that, yeah, they won't be in the way. You okay, boo-boo? He says he's gonna cut it now. What are you doing? My grandson Jason just came outside with us for a little bit. The mosquitoes uh, are no joke here. The off? It's over here. 
The mosquitoes here in Texas are no joke. So, when you don't have that little thing that holds the wood together, I don't know what you call it, are the pieces upright for you? These two chairs. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Oh. Y'all get ready for some noise. I don't know. There's a truck stop right there in the alley. Jason. Jason. What is it? The airplane? What is it? The airplane? <laughs> now to cut off the other side. Jason is always with his grandpa. They go fishing together and he helps them around the backyard. The other day when Heavy was cutting some of the bushes, trimming some of the bushes, he was helping to carry the, the trimmings to the trash. And Jason loves playing with excavators and bulldozers and that one that he has I don't know what that one's called. steamroller I don't know what that one's called Jason Jason <laughs> So yeah, after hubby does that and puts the legs on it, we're going to sand it down and I don't know how, what color. Um, we'll probably paint it white. I'm into white. Give me another screw. Jason's helping his huelo. You're helping your huelo? Coba. Coba. Hey guys, Coba. Come here, Coba. Sit. Sit. Sit, Kova. Come here. Look at the camera. <laughs> this is Kova, guys. He's beautiful. He's running around like crazy, though. So, my daughter was going to tie him up. She belongs to my daughter's boyfriend. But look at him. He's such a beautiful dog. Yeah, we need a tape measure. And It got a little dark, guys, because um, we came out here around 7.30. It's so hot out here. And, um, but yeah, hubby was measuring the legs, but we need a um, tape measure and a leveler. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, guys, it's already the next day, and, um, I woke up a little late because I had a rough night. I don't know, I don't think I've mentioned to you guys, but I have gallstones, and I cannot eat, like, certain foods and everything. And yesterday, I made some green spaghetti, and it was pretty spicy, and it messed with my stomach with my gallbladder so yeah I had a rough night and so hubby got up early this morning and I heard him you know hammering and banging here and there and you know I was half asleep and so he had been putting the legs on the desk that he's working on for me let me show you guys I don't know if you guys can see it very well it's really bright and sunny Koba's under there getting his shade we usually don't have him tied up, guys, but he's tied up right now because um, he gets out through the little hole. There's a little hole in the fence, and he got out, so we tied him up. 
but anyways um this is how it looks and this is not how it's you know he still has a lot to work on he's planning on putting right here on from here to there like little so it could look like a palette style you know all around it except for the front and I think we used how many up here we used one two three four five six seven eight of these little wood planks and I think it's too wide he should have just used seven he asked me yesterday and then seven looked too narrow and I told him to add one more but it looks too wide already but that's how it's gonna stay <clears throat> so yeah I just wanted to show you guys this um, what he did this morning he put the legs and then it got too hot right now I'm just me just standing out here I am sweating you see how I tell you guys oh, I'm just like standing here doing nothing and I'm already drenched in sweat but anyways just want to show you guys a table and then I guess when the Sun goes down later on we'll come out and work on it some more I don't know but stay tuned guys I can't wait to see the finished product Okay guys, so hubby did decide to take one of the wood planks off. Remember when I told you that he asked if seven was fine or eight and I had told him eight. Yeah, it was too wide. So he took one off and he's taking the legs off again because he's going to make it more narrow. We went and we bought more screws and he bought a tape measure and we couldn't find uh, another tool he was looking for. I guess to cut the pieces straight when you don't have the tools, the right tools. But that's what he's doing right now. He's making the table a little more, table, desk, whatever. He's making it a little more narrow. So what he did right there is um, screw that wooden plank right there. For like a straight edge because we don't have the tools for you know to cut a straight edge so that's how he's gonna do it what's up boo boo Right there, he just cut off the excess wood from that. Um, you remember how we had added that eighth piece of plank and then it was a little longer, so he just cut it so it could be even. Now he's gonna put the legs back up on there. It's getting pretty hot, guys. Hubby said, remember how I told y'all that we might come out like when the sun goes down and, and work on it? And he said, no, forget that. And he's like, um, it's going to be hot regardless, whether it's 12 noon or 7 p.m. It's still hot, so. Guys, I feel bad for hubby. He's the only one that's over there doing all the work, and I'm over here sitting and drinking my juice. See him over there? But no, once he's done with this, my job is going to be to sand it down and paint it, so. I'm sitting down right now, but after he's done, it's going to be his turn to sit down and my turn to work. <laughs> and the second leg is going up. So we're 
we're back out here guys and hubby's back at it we had to stop because when he was out there um earlier when we were out here it was what time like around 12 o'clock one o'clock in the afternoon so the sun was super hot and i guess he i don't know he started feeling really dizzy and lightheaded and everything and he scared me so we went inside for a while and we're back out here we moved the table as y'all saw we moved it from the sun over here to the shade and so a little bit of shade we have back here and he's putting on the legs so we're still working on it well he's still working on it <laughs> guys now hubby's taking all the nails off of the little wood planks that we took off the pallet or that he took off the pallet i'm over here trying to get credit take credit for it but um yeah that's what he's doing next guys hubby was gonna put wood all along you know all down the sides like he did the top you know all the little wood planks were stacked one on top of the other but um i told him no i don't i wanted i preferred it just the two little wood planks and then another big one at the bottom like not all filled with wood i don't know if y'all get me but like so it could look like a pallet like just two uh wood planks right there and the big one not full of wood so i don't know so hubby already finished this side. Let me move this. He's also going to put one right here on the bottom, but I don't know. He says he's going to wait for us to put it inside. But yeah, now he's working on the other side. But that's how it's going to look. Uh, I can't wait for him to finish it so I can start sanding it and painting it. Well, not painting it, not the painting part, because I'm not good at painting. But, yeah, this is how far Hubby's come along on his little project. So, guys, Hubby's over there finishing the legs on my table, and um, or desk, whatever. <laughs> it looks more like a little table, but... And uh, we only use one pallet. If y'all remember at the beginning of the video, I told you guys that we had uh, got two long pallets. This is this pallet is huge. It's like occupies all the back of the um, truck bed. That's how long it is. But anyways, he ended up only using one, and he's almost finished with um, the desk. Okay guys, so Hubby's gonna take a break on the desk so he can take some nails that he has um, off of some other planks. Or I guess he's just gonna take a little break, I don't know. But um, while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding down the table. He's not finished with the table, but I'm gonna go ahead and start working on it as well. How do you even do this? So this is how it looks guys 
This is the front view of it. And then the side view. See how it looks like a little palette. There goes Babe over there. Excuse all this mess. We got a lot going on. He's tired. And then this is the back of it. And the other side looks the same as this side, of course. And so I'm going to finish sanding it down with the rest of the sandpaper. I think we're going to need more. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys this little part. I hope he's done with his part. Um, are you going to put another plank of wood all the way at the bottom? Or? I think at the very bottom he's going to put another plank of wood like this big. I'm not sure. We'll see. You guys will see how it looks when it's done. But let me keep on um, sanding it. So I'm over here sanding the table like I told you guys. And um, my hubby's already working on another project. <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if y'all remember um, the 4th of July video when we were at Walmart. And he said that he needed to tell my stepdad if he could let us have a little wagon that he has. Well, he asked him for it and he did give it to him so he's working on it because it didn't need a little TLC so I don't know what he's doing over there he has the wheels off and he's I don't know I guess he's gonna want to paint it again I don't know what he's gonna do with it but I tell you guys he doesn't stop and we have a whole bunch of little projects going on and it's really hot out here <laughs> anyway see y'all guys see you guys in a bit well guys, I'm back at it out here in this heat. Um, I just need to sand it, finish sanding it down a little bit. We ran out of sandpaper, so um, we went to Walmart to get a little bit more and um, the paint so that I could paint it. So I just need to sand it a little bit more and then the paint and we're all done. I can't wait to see it, like paint it and everything finished and show you guys. So let me get to sanding some more and I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, huge difference. I don't know if y'all can tell like this one, I already sanded it and then I need to do this one. Look how rough it is. I'm good. Well guys, I already finished sanding it down and I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I am decided to use a paint roller. thought it would be easier since I don't know how to paint or what I'm really doing, but time to paint. Well guys, this is the final product. I already painted it and everything. I didn't record much of when I was painting it because my battery, um, not my battery, my storage space is running low. So this is how it looks from the top. It has kind of like a rustic look, of course, because it was made from pallets. And then it's not perfect because we didn't have like the the perfect uh, or the tools to cut them perfectly straight or anything but i loved it guys i loved it hubby did this for me and we worked together on it and that's what's most important and um yeah let me know if you guys liked it or not and um just kind of like a little idea it wasn't a tutorial but i just wanted to show you guys what hubby made for me out of a palette and so yeah 
um, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, ah, my hand is so shaky because I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I was saying, let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.